Good afternoon, shalom everyone. My name is Bobby Wibowo and I am one of the English ministry pastors of Sarang Nanum Community Church here in Ambler, Pennsylvania. And this afternoon I would like to share God's words with everyone who are listening. My name is Bobby, as I've told you before, and I am always reminded by God's words in the Bible that reminds us that in this earth, we are sojourners or we are foreigners in this world. That means that each of us are living here in this world only temporarily. Somebody who is a foreigner will eventually come back to their home. So where is our home? Our home is in heaven. Amen? Well, I myself can say that my family have been sojourners for many generations. My great-grandfathers from both sides, my mother and my, mo my father's side, both immigrated from China, from the provinces of Guangdong and Fujian to Indonesia. And then there was where my, great, my grandfather, my mother, my father, myself, my two brothers, we were all born there. And I'm always reminded of the fact that in Indonesia, somehow we felt like a foreigner. However, when I was 10 years old, I moved here in America to Philadelphia with my family, my parents, and my two brothers as well. And even then, I always had that question in my mind. Where is my home? Is it in Philadelphia, USA? Is it in Indonesia? Is it China? Or where is it? But one verse in the Bible really answered that question in my heart and I would like to share that with you it is taken from the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 it says this but our citizenship is in heaven and from it we await a Savior the Lord Jesus Christ our citizenship is in heaven so heaven is our final destination that means while we are here in this world, no matter where you are, you might be in Seoul, Korea, you might be in Busan, you might be in Thailand, you might be in South America, you might be in Europe, but always remember that this world is just a place where we are only stopping over for a transit. Heaven is where we will be for eternity at least for those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ because the book of John chapter 3 verse 16 says for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life eternal life in heaven that is the good news I remember the late pastor Billy Graham always said that the gospel in a nutshell is John 3 16 today I would like to share with you that we should all open our hearts for those of you who have never made a choice personally to receive the Lord Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior. Let today be the day. Let's not delay. None of us know how long we are going to live in this world for. You might say, I'm still young. I'm still 25. Or you might say, I'm still 40, 50. I'm going to live till I'm 90. Maybe when I'm 90, I'm going to make a decision. But my brothers and my sisters, we just do not know. So, because of the fact that we don't know, because our days are numbered, we should never delay. Today, make that decision. And we know that in this world, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, has never promised that we will live with no problem. That was never His promise. We, the Lord Jesus Christ never promised that in our marriage life, we're not going to have any problems. The Lord never promised that in our lives as Christians, as pastors, as God's servants, that everything is going to be smooth. No. But God, the Lord Jesus Christ, always, and He promised that He will always be with us until the end of age. Today, you might be feeling, well, I'm a Christian, or you might be saying that I'm a Christian. I've been going to church all of my life. I was born a Christian. But my question to you today is, have you ever made a personal decision to confess with your mouth, to believe in your heart that the Lord Jesus is God, that God has raised him from the dead, and that our Lord Jesus will come back? 
my brothers and my sisters, we don't know when the Lord Jesus will come back. It might be soon. It is going to be soon because in the book of Revelation, Jesus said, I am coming soon. But we don't know when and we don't know how long it will be. It's true. As long as we live in this world, we will have disappointments. People might disappoint us. People closest to us might hurt us. That's a fact of life. And I'm sure if we can be honest with ourselves, each of us has had situations where people might have hurt our feelings or somebody might have been dishonest. Maybe you own a business and someone had dealt dishonestly with you. I might not know every single one of your situations, but the Lord Jesus knows. Today, if you're listening to this message, God knows and God loves you. God loves you so much that he died for your sins and for my sins. Today, you might be living a life thinking, I have no hope. You might be thinking, so many bad things has, ever ha has happened in my life. You might be saying, if God loves me, why did he let this disappointment happen in my life? If God truly loves me, why did, it, why did he not answer my prayer the way that I wanted to? My brothers and my sisters, though we might not have the answers to all the problems in this world, but we have to believe and trust in the promise of God from Romans chapter 8, verse 28, which says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. You and I have been called according to God's purpose. Our purpose is not just to live in this world and end here. No. But God has a calling for each and every one of us. Today, you might feel hopeless. Maybe a business that you had started did not go so well. Perhaps you had studied and you haven't made it into that school that you would like to get into. Or perhaps you had tried and tried so hard so many times and maybe the result of your actions have been disappointments after disappointments. But believe, trust my brothers and sisters that all things work together for good to those who love God. Today, let us be reminded of God's words that we love because he first loved us. God loves you first. That is why today, if you hear God's words, do not harden your hearts. Maybe you haven't been in church at all in your life, but you came into this video. My prayer is, is that you will open up your heart and find a church to go to this Sunday. Or perhaps don't even wait for Sunday. If you're watching this on a Monday, find a midweek service. If you're a young man or young woman, you're listening to this message and you felt, well, I have done so many mistakes in my life. Our Lord Jesus said, go and sin no more. Today, open your hearts. Receive Jesus as your savior. Or if you felt that you've been in church all of your lives and you've been disappointed and perhaps you've stopped going to church, come back to church. Let us always believe that the bad things in life and the good things in life, they're all going to work together to bring something good for your life and for my life as well. Our lives are not perfect. Our families are not perfect. Our parents are not perfect. Our wives, husbands, sons, daughters, uncles, aunts, friends, employers, employees, they're not perfect, correct? Well, when I say wives, husbands, of course, the husband of a wife, of one wife, and the wife of one husband, of course, and true. Today, each of us have to believe that it is not by chance that you have come to listen to this message. And it is not by some sort of a coincidence that I am preaching this word of the Lord today. And I would like to close with one Bible verse taken from Psalm chapter 90, verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. 
my brothers and my sisters, our time in this world is numbered. We don't know how long we will live for. But today, if we have an opportunity to live, let us make the most out of it. Tell somebody that you love, that you love them. If you'd like to do something nice, do it today, do not delay. If you'd like to forgive somebody, do it today, do not delay. If you would like to pay a debt, do it today and do not delay. If you've been thinking of coming back to church, make that decision today. If you've been thinking about receiving the Lord Jesus into your life to have hope, to have a second chance, do not delay. Make a decision today. And that is the good news. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Let us pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for your words. And we thank you, Father, for your love in our lives. Right now, God, we open our hearts. And if there's anyone here who are listening, who have never received the Lord Jesus into their life as their Lord and Savior, I would like to invite any one of you to repeat this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I repent of my sins. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. My brothers and sisters, if you've said that prayer, you have received the Lord Jesus into your heart. You have been born again. Join the church. Grow in your faith. Fight this good fight of faith. Life is not perfect. Situation might not be perfect, but we have a God who is perfect. Never forget, you are a beloved child of God. And never forget, Jesus is coming soon. God bless you all. Amen. Amen.